What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and this is going to be a, another video on patch 5.01, and specifically laws change, which was uh, DSS stance can now rage drive. This is kind of busted actually, in my opinion, and I'm going to explain why. And it probably means law is way higher on the tier list if it stays like this. But I believe this is going to be nerfed uh, for many reasons. Again, I'm going to get into it. And this means basically this was the worst rage drive in the game, in my opinion. So again, say, this is the old Rage Drive. Uh, we have different notations and different properties. Old Rage Drive comes out, it's safe on block, but it comes out at 26 frames, right? That is very seeable. Like, uh, pretty much everyone can react to that. Uh, on a good connection online, uh, you will block that Rage Drive. So, what happened? Well, from DSS now, you can do the Rage Drive. This one is different because this one comes out at 22 frames. Now, what everyone thought this meant first is that, okay, oh, I'll do a string into DSS, and now from there I can force a 50 50, right? I do a string, DSS, oh, it comes out at 22 frames. That's unseeable. You gotta remember that at 23 frames, right? You have Heihachi's down back too. When something is 23 frames, that's a very small minority of players who will offline and on a five bar connection, on a perfect connection, they'll be able to see that. But that's a very, very small minority of players who have that type of reaction speed. And also, Heiachi's Dombek 2 is very telegraphed in the same way as Noctis Dombek 2, in that he brings his arm up. So it's very unique animation. This is 22 frames. It does not sound like much, but going from 23 to 22, that one frame faster is a hell of a lot faster. And honestly, this is now unseeable in my eyes, especially online where we all play. Even on a five bar, you have noticeable delay compared to offline. So unless you're Arslan Ash, you're going to eat this, right? And the problem is, yeah, you can, this is a DSS transition. Oh, oh god, I can't do it. There we go. Or while standing for DSS. But you can manually DSS by pressing down 1 plus 2. Manual. And here, you can immediately do the rage drive without the stance even, even needing to stay out for a few frames. So people can visually confirm. Ah, oh, he's in DSS. I better watch out. No, you can immediately do the rage drive. You see, without seeing the stance. So th this is now, for all intents and purposes, an unseeable, low-hitting Rage Drive that does 42 damage, right? And wall splats from far away. Oh my god, okay. Just wanna demonstrate what this looks like. Can you tell I'm recording for YouTube? Oh, I'm gonna have to edit this video. This is so easy to do and I can't do it. Okay, thanks, 66 damage. You know what, that's just easier. You know, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do Fort Fort Free there. It does 60 damage either way. Uh, so again, I, I hope I, I'm making it clear why this is very, very strong. So now when he's in rage, his comeback utility is through the goddamn roof. So unseeable low, that does 42 damage, wall splats from a mile away, and for some reason, it's still safe on block at minus nine. It has the same block frames as the old one, but it's seeable. 
So no one's ever gonna do the old one. They might as well remove it because now you'll manually do DSS and go into a 22 frame um, rage drive. So th this is already really, really problematic. Ba that should not be safe. That should not be minus nine because it's unseeable. Does too much damage and wall splats. That should at least be minus 12. And what compounds to this problem is that it also has like almost um, infinite reach. And it also has a ton of evasion. It goes down really low. A lot of evasion. But the reach is the biggest problem. And th this this move has everything, to be honest. Uh, you also gotta uh, add that it's, it's pretty much homing. So again, step the other way. That's why you tend to not side sidewalk low, uh, sidewalk low, because it, his homing is so strong. His space control is incredible. That's why people, when people fight low, like strong players, they see it as a 2D game. It, it's like Brian, you don't really try and sidewalk because the homing properties are so strong. Uh, so again, yeah, with all the aforementioned stuff, this rage drive is also basically homing. I mean, it is, it, it is fully homing. It, it's even, you know, it, it has the trail. Homing. And the reach can't be understated, right? Look at this reach. So basically now, when, uh, have fun now when you face Law. Because now when he's in rage, he'll be able to threaten you from this range. Like 2.8, 2.7, 2.8. With this back free, right? Now I need you to guard again, Heiachi. So this is safe due to pushback. This back free. This ho this is homing mid knockdown. So from this range, you can't sidewalk me. And from very far away, boom, safe. Or I'll do this one. So uh, his 50-50 now when he's in rage, absolutely ridiculous, right? Absolutely ridiculous. So I just can't see this stay the way it is. You can't. You can't have an unseeable. Uh, how do you? How do I even explain this move? You can't have an unseeable low that does 42 damage and wall splats and is homing and has evasiveness and has uh, 2.7 distance reach uh, safe that can't be safe Th this is a perfect low it's it's just perfect you, you you can't have this be safe it can't be minus nine that's broken Th this is this is busted like, when, when he's in rage now, he's just gonna... Every mid is gonna be for free. Because anytime he can, he can just throw that shit. You have to low parry it, right? Yeah, but it's, again, it's unseeable. So he's gonna mix you up with this shit. So, uh... Yeah, I feel like they maybe went a bit too far. And this means Law is way stronger in tournaments. Way, I mean, he's way stronger in any type of play. But in tournaments, it's crucial to have really strong uh, comeback ability. I mean, just look at Marduk, uh, Feng Wei, Akuma, Geese. Some of the best comebacks in the game. Paul, huge comebacks. His comeback ability now went through the roof. I mean, usually you would have to do stuff like, you know, full crouch mi mi mix up, right? Can I do a slide? Yeah, I can. Uh, you know, that sort of stuff. Big risks. But now, you know, you can just do that. Uh, so, yeah, uh, this is a monumental change for law, and it's, in my opinion, kind of. kind of busted, I'm gonna have to say. And I believe it's going to get nerfed. I believe you'll see a fix. That will be made unsafe. It's like, you know, Devil Jin's Rage Drive uh, being uh, minus 14.
So yeah, I just wanted to give you all my thoughts on this change. Thanks for watching.